Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of Massive Chalice. This is episode 25, and we are coming up to the end of the road, as it says, or is, or should be, or can be. I don't know. We're getting close to the end, guys. It's nearly here. It's nearly upon us. We should probably consider... Hmm. Ignotus. Done. Goodbye, Ignotus, and your asthma. Well, at least we did one thing right with our breeding. Those, uh, those alchemists are amazing with their, their deep, rich Sound genes. Sound the horns of Nye, for our power is nearly full. Sweet. Every decision you make will be more important than ever now. Oh, and great. every mistake will be harder to recover from. Thanks. No pressure, right? All right, well, the Blackwells are in a really, really bad position. Hopefully nothing horrible happens. We'll see. We will see. Sound the capital attack. Choose heroes to fight back the Cadence and protect the capital. Okay, um... Interesting. We'll say interesting. All right. I guess we just roll out with who we have already, and everybody seems to have a... Everyone seems to have a relic now as well, which is sweet, sweet, nice. Um, we're going to go with the Flaro again, even though it's been less than awesome. Level 4, we'll take it. That's not horrid. Not horrid at all. Good old Nicholas. Get rid of your bone barbed bow. Ooh, level 9. I like the spine. Give him the spine. All right, so, wow, we're rolling out with some old folks. 65, 63, 54, 52, and 31. Well, if you want veteran, we've got it in spades, ladies and gentlemen. The veteran troops are here and ready. So let's launch this battle. I don't battle. know about you, but I'm ready to hit something today. Ooh, one of those. Not a big fan. Well, not much we can do. Yet. Oh, he has friends. Um, do we have anything else that we see? No? Is there something that's... Oh! Chalice is actually there. Wow. I know. I, I made it sound way more impressive than it actually was, but I'm still slightly impressed by it. Alright. Going to move my way over, I suppose. It's slightly further than that. Not sure what we're up against here. Pretty excited, though. I mean, this is new. A capital attack. I don't think I've done this before. If I have... No, I don't recall it, so we shall see. I'm assuming that they're going to move out on us, not just sit around. Apparently my assumption is incorrect, as they do seem quite content with sitting there and not doing anything. Alright, looks like I do have a shot. I'm going to take the 78 on the far rupture and a hit, followed by a miss. Unfortunate, but okay. Could be worse, could be better. Gonna move in, and what do we have now? What if we just fired on you? Boom, down you go. That should, in theory, melt the armor of his buddy. Make it easier for us to murder. And we have the Scion herself. Let's move over here and see if we can't finish this off. Not as good of a chance to hit as I would hope, but it's not too bad, and we managed to do it anyway. She may be pessimistic, so it might be that she actually does do better, but it's not showing up as such. So we'll take it. We will take it. I'm going to move over here. And I suppose our alchemist is going to move over here as well. Alright, the Cadence must be getting nervous if they're sending people out against us to try to take down the Chalice. Oops. Alright, looks like we're just going to continue down this path. And in the next turn, in theory... We will be ready for some combat. Okay, spotted way, way over there. It's fine. Move here and wait for it. The advanced rupture is like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I want one of these in my room. 
Alright, I'm gonna move here. And... Fire in the hole! Fire the missiles! That did some damage. Not as much as I was hoping, but... Yeah. Did okay. Not bad. Brian says, I got this, boys. Don't even worry yourself. Oh, that's embarrassing. Don't even worry yourselves. Alright, the scion says, I got it. Go settle down, Brian. It's no big deal. Don't worry about it, man. You're getting old. You're, you know, your hair is gray and everything else. It's fine. Totally fine. We're going to go with the increased sight and attack range. I like it. I wish it was accuracy, too, but I guess I'm getting greedy. Well, I suppose I'm getting greedy in my old age. <laughs> Don't think the rupture can make it that far. Could be wrong. If I am, so be it. All right. Well, I suppose I am going to move here. And I guess that's it. Just here. Alright. End of the turn. What's next? Don't know. Rupture's going to move toward us. Not quite able to close. And should be able to seal the deal pretty easy from over here. And there's the shot and the kill. Good, di good day, sir. Eventually. Maybe. Possibly. Pip, pip. So, that's sweet, sweet, nice. I will take it. And down here, I'm kind of concerned with the the whole uh, leaving the chalice unprotected situation, but eh, I suppose the chalice has survived this long. It will probably survive a little longer. Alright, we see another rupture over that way. I don't know that the that it didn't say that we had to defend the chalice, so I'm assuming we're fine. But again, there's no way to be certain. Hello, advanced laps. How are you? Oh, you're even gonna go toward me. Ooh, there's two of them. Hmm. Okay, I can dig this. I can totally. I got this. That might be too close. Let's move here move you here and see a man about a horse? No. And another lob. Boom. Alright. So now we have ourselves opened up for some fun. We hit, we hit. And it's sweet, sweet, nice. And we did. Oh, we knocked ourselves back. That's... I suppose they do have larger explosive radiuses, or radii, I guess. You wanna maybe radii? I know. Boom. Alright, two down. I will take it. Ba -ba -da -ba -bum. Well, this is so much better than the last one we did. Gee, your lord, the last one sucked. I will take this any day of the week. Oh, we missed. Boo. It's okay. It's okay. As long as we don't miss, like, every shot, I'm okay with that. Eh, why not? Double shot, taken down. One, and done. See ya! And you guessed it, ladies and gentlemen, there is a plane going on right now over the head and outside my window, which I finally opened because the room is actually a little warm and the outside is not freezing cold. And when I do it, what happens? A plane flies overhead, so I apologize for that. It is 100% my fault for being a terrible person and letting the plane fly by. I know, I should shoot those down. I realize. I realize. Alright. Let's get some damage up here. And down you go, good sir. Well, I guess that's good. Alright. We'll move out and continue our sweeping ways. Clearing out all nemesis or Nemesi, that dear challenge the power of the chalice. I got nothing. It's the best you're gonna get, guys. Alright. Let's move here. There's nothing there. Okay, I can dig that. So, a few new games on the horizon, guys. I already have the game picked out to replace this one once it's, it is completely, completely once it's totally done and we have finished it. Oh my gosh. Boom! What? Yeah, that just happened. So once we do finish this up and it's completely done and over with, I do have the replacement game for this one ready to go. I'm pretty excited to cover it. 
And yeah. Hopefully I do well at it. I played around with it a I played through the tutorial and I played one mission and I'm not great at the game, ironically enough. It is a turn based strategy game, but I'm it's one of the ones I'm the least good at so far that I've played, or one of the ones that I'm least good at. So there is that. It does not give anything away, I realize. And that's exactly how I planned it. Oh, hello. Hello, Senor Twitcher. And laps over there. It's totally fine. We got this. Don't even worry about it. Alright. Let's spread our wings here a little bit. Yeah, you suppose you can stay there. That's fine. We'll end your turn. You over here. I hear the music's just kind of rocking in the background. Or something like that. Alright, let's do it. Come on. One of you two move at me. Go ahead. Oh, I was hoping the Twitcher would move. Dang, that kind of makes me nervous, actually. Well, maybe we can finish the laps off without exposing anyone else. We did it. I don't hate that. Now, the question remains. Is there other horrible problems that we're going to run into trying to flank the Twitcher? What was that? It looked like some sort of shiny... Oh, it's just the light reflecting off the shiny floor. Oh, well, apparently my wife decided not to mute her computer once again, and I didn't check beforehand. All sorts of problems this time, guys. It's fine. We're going to ignore it and pretend like it doesn't exist, because we can do that and possibly get away with it. All right. What kind of shots do we have? Probably good enough to take them out. I'm going to go for it. Ooh, a 41 crit, followed by a secondary non-crit. I can dig it. I can totally dig it. And let's see, oh, what's her face is here? Can't quite kill. Could, possibly, I should say. Not can't quite. And we have our Scion, and she does enough to finish him without double shotting. And good day, sir. Boom! I definitely prefer these to the Withers. Also, there's three. Yeah, the Ruptures, the Lapses, and the... Witchers, while scary, they're not exactly the most powerful of enemies. Move here, might get vision? Nope, don't get vision. I'm okay with that as well. Alright, we'll continue our full clear. I gotta say, for an attack on the chalice or the capital, this might be the overall worst possible conglomeration of enemy units that they could have sent to actually be effective. Just saying. And it has nothing to do with me being amazing or anything else like that. I guess with four ranged units, this really does benefit us quite immensely, as opposed to maybe with Caber Jackers, this might be a little bit more challenging. In all reality, our I don't think our Alchemist has done much of anything yet. Even yeah, she threw two, or Oliver threw two, right? Yeah, yeah, the double throw, the old double throw. Oops, I ended a turn of somebody I did not want to end. My bad. Should be easy to kill that one. I'm tempted to go for the laps, but... Eh. Nicholas should have this at range. And the follow-up says good day, and down he goes. I like that. And splody bits. Splody bits. Very nice. Good, he leveled up too. Excellent. Alright, Brian's going to start this off at 70. Very nice 70, I might add. Can our... Oh, we can. Oh, all day long, ladies and gentlemen. All day long. Down you go. Our Alchemist is doing some more work. And I don't think she's got the range for that one move here and wait and I'm gonna move here and wait okay your move cadence come dance rupture challenge me to a duel you will die all right I think you can handle this rather who you missed that's somewhat embarrassing not gonna lie 
Twice. Okay, well that happened, guys. So, yeah. There you go. Well, at least we hit that. I will take it. And it's 70%. Oh, we missed. This is looking bad now. Hmm. Okay, we got the double with the resonator. We have a spirit. 66. Good. Finish her off. Even if the rupture does manage to somehow survive this next attack, which is possible. I mean, don't get me wrong. It should not be able to kill us. Oop. But we're going to hope that we hit both attacks and we finish them off. Even if we don't, no big deal. And we were lucky. RNG is now loving us again. In the last episode, it did not love us very much. And I am coming off of a little bit of a high, I'm not going to lie. Uh, double Dota 2 games, both of them won on the last a bumpy Dota 2 stream. Pretty excited about that, and I've even recorded it for real Z's this time, guys, and I'm going to be able to post it up on a YouTube. Not sure what I'm going to do exactly to make it look all pretty and smexy for you, but I'll figure something out. You guys will totally be impressed. I know I am. It was a really, really, really well done uh, two games, actually. Both games were amazing. So, pretty happy. I was trying to cover some more Nosgoth, but I, we can't find people to actually queue up in the games with. Apparently matchmaking is pretty open and it shows you who you're queuing with and we only end up with like five to seven people. We never get that eighth and it sucks. It really, 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 really sucks. So that's where we're sitting on that. So until they either get more people, they hand out more keys, or they go into open beta, we're really gonna have a hard time getting things to work for us unfortunately. I'm gonna go for a, a punch. Boom! And down you go. Alright, the Raven. And that's it. That was really, Call really the easy. For every pawn kill today, I want a roasted turkey waiting for that hero. Yeah. Shut the door on vegetarians oh. again, huh? You always forget about the vegetarians. Oh, excuse me, yes. Sorted salads as well, please. Sorted salads as well, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, well, things seem to work out pretty good. We have Dead Eye, and we are proceeding. Two, four, six, two, three. Not bad. Not bad for our boys. And nothing negative happened. I wish that kind of lowered the overall corruption for defending the attack, but eh, apparently that's not in the cards. It's okay. We're about to have this pop up. The road trip. Oh, someone died. Sage Rite. To the Sage Rites Guild. Who do we have to replace you? Well, all of our vanguards are really, really powerful, but don't want to use them just yet. Let's see, who are you? Nearsighted Asthmatic? Yep, you are the one. You are the one. Alright, so onward, and we're about to see what the road trip has done, what it has yielded us. Relax. Nope, not yet. It's not an attack. Okay. Maybe you shouldn't relax. Okay, the mark. Ulrich Estrahala. No. <coughs> And her recently born baby, Alan, have arrived at the capital in secret and in tears. She tells you that there is a very particular bir or, yeah, particular birthmark on her baby's back, the mark of Bard. And it is a very evil omen, barely intelligible between the sobbing, the sobbing, sorry. She exclaims that the moon is red tonight and that she doesn't know what to do. We will not be safe if my child lives. The baby for its part seems healthy to you, if a bit smelly. The mother is obviously crazy and potentially dangerous. Commit her and keep the baby. Send the baby to be raised by Seamus Astralan. But don't tell the mother, 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 mother. Or pour chalice water on the baby. Sure, we'll do the chalice water. Must have been one of those dissolvable marks. Ulrich scoops up some chalice water with her hand and pours it onto the birthmark. There's a slight hiss and Alan lets out a giggle. But after a few seconds, the mark disappears completely. Aesthetic Ulrich smothers her baby in kisses and thanks you for your help. I'm a hero, and a genius hero at that. 72 days before the road trip ends. That's not good. Alright, Woeful Ruminations. A letter arrives for you saying that the Kazos Blackwell and Miyara Amphibino have passed away in the town of Stern. Apparently both in their sleep, but a day apart from one another. As you ruminate over whether this means anything, you hope that the two of them were at least able to settle their differences in the end. Well, so be it. 
So be it. The Blackwells and the Amphibinos will always fight the first and the second families of the Chalice. Lolani uh, Blackwell has died of natural causes. Well, it is what it is, and it looks like it's time to... Wow, Brian actually outlived her. Time to choose a new combatant. Oh gosh, dimwitted and fertile pessimistic stalwart. Oh god. Um, well, I think maybe you might actually be the one that we use in combat because you are so horrible for anything else. There we go. Done. And I assume the other Blackwell's probably going to follow suit in just a second? No? Oh, baby. There's a birth at the Blackwell or the Amphibino house. We're coming to the age of Jordan Blackwell. And there, Brian Blackwell finally croaked. It's unfortunate, but it is a reality. Let's see what Jordan's looking like. Dimwitted and fertile. What is wrong with the, the, the Blackwell line right now? They both suck. Alright, whatever. We'll roll out with both of those two. They are definitely not going to be breeding stock and... There's not much else to do with them, so... A life of combat it is. Sarah of the Sagerites Guild has died. Of course she has. Alright, what are we looking at here? Um, let's take a look down lower. Alright, what about Bane Wolfe? Yeah, you suck. You're going. Boom. And done. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, we'll go up to the 280 year mark, and then we're going to break it off. There we go, guys. So, birth right before the end. I know this episode was a little bit shorter. That combat was a little bit on the easy side, which I'm not complaining about at all. But I'm going to break off the episode here. In probably two to three more episodes, this should be finishing up, and we'll see the conclusion of the game. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed up to this point. If you have, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys tomorrow with more Massive Chalice. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.